What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're talking about probably one of the most talked about, talked about discussion this week is, who should I build? Should I build Sword Flash Shia, or should I build Scarlet Queen Halora? And that is a very, very important question. We have done some testing this weekend. We've done Aspen Dungeon, we've done some PvE content, we've done some PvP content. And there isn't one cut and dry answer to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over each hero, go over where they are best at. And then you have to decide based on this information, what you think is going to be the best outcome for your team, because each one of them has different synergies on your team and different roles to play. So let's jump into it. Let's first talk, talk about the older hero sword flash, and we will compare her to Scarlet queen. So starting off, we will be starting with the Sword Flash Shia. There are some big advantages for her right off the bat. Um, and really, it comes down to the way her skills work. So she has some really good self-survivability. She has things like her Retaliation Strike, which allows her to essentially dodge attacks, which is amazing. She has a, uh, a built-in heal as well. She has some good single target damage and really good aoe damage as well but uh the one thing that i will immediately say sword flash trumps queen at is pve content so pve she is still by far the number one damage dealer when it comes to flame shrine and broken spaces not counting of course the delacium army but just pure single hero damage output she does win that battle um she will do amazing with very minimalistic teams around here. Granted, when we are talking about PvE, um, Queen synergizes with her very, very well. She does boost her damage up. We did have a video earlier, or actually late last week, going over Queen with Sword Flash, and it was some busted numbers. We did over 120 billion damage in uh, Flame Shrine, so that was pretty cool. We still have to do a test with Scarlet Queen in Broken Spaces as well, but it's gonna be pretty much the same outcome where Sword Flash is the better result. So the second one that we need to talk about that Sword Flash I think can excel at over Queen is going to be things like, uh, like PvP in general if you don't have a very high attack team so queen is going to do really good at pumping up your damage numbers for your team as well as lowering the crit for your enemy team whereas sword flash is just all about being that one man army that's the best way i can describe sword flash is that her abilities allow her to one shot targets um, and then of course if she does have impeccable flow she can do some huge aoe damage to the enemy team as you've probably seen with us doing trial of champion we've been doing regular pvp on the channel as well uh that's really where she excels the most um she is more of a hero that you can kind of plug and play into any pvp lineup and do well she also does pretty well in things like void vortex in tower of oblivion and places like that but when it comes to other parts of the game, which we're going to talk about now, let's jump over to Scarlet Queen because she actually excels much better than Sword Flash. So one of the biggest reasons why I am more of a Scarlet Queen fan right now than I am a Sword Flash Shia is due to Aspen Dungeon. So in case you haven't seen it yet, we did do a Twitch stream yesterday where we did a very easy death 50 to 100 push with a Scarlet Queen that only had Void to enable. So mine, of course, is full. They only had Void to enables on her. We, of course, had an, a, a splendid AMB on her, and I believe we had a speed attack stone, so we didn't even have, like, a really good stone for her. And we managed to go through death 50 to 100 very, very easily. Granted, we also had a splendid punisher ticks with us but we probably could have done it without the ticks with just some demon potions because we ended the run with only using two demon potions in total from 50 to 100 and both of those were on ticks and there's some there's a few reasons why queen in my opinion is much much better at aspen dungeon than sword flash 
Royal Guard does nothing. Uh, honestly, Ultimate Queenship is a really important one because this is her only self-sustain and healing, which means you can use Scarlet Queen in multiple rounds against Amon Rawways because most other heroes like Russell's, like Ada's, like Sword Flash, if you come across an Amon Ra, that healing curse is going to make you kill yourself essentially by doing giant amounts of damage and just one-shotting your hero. So waves where you normally would have to use a demon potion against Amon Ra waves, you don't have to. You can get away with using your basics and doing just fine. One big thing is her basic hits three targets. So even duo waves, she can farm energy on very, very well. And another big thing is she does counter Asmodels extremely well. You guys know Asmodel is one of the scariest monsters, heroes to come across in Aspen Dungeon. Well, her basic is going to be reducing their crit chance by 25%. That is not bad. And uh, yeah, it lasts for two rounds while increasing her own. But then also her active will do something very similar. Well, it'll make them do 20% less crit damage. So if they're somehow alive, those Asmodels were a cakewalk, actually. It was very simple to get through Asmodel waves. Uh, we did not come across any Penny waves, but of course, Penny waves, you're still going to have to use that Demon Potion. But yeah, Scarlet Queen has very few weaknesses compared to Sword Flash. Yes, Sword Flash can do some dodging and such, but because her attacks natively only hit one target... That makes Scarlet Queen infinitely better, and she is just as tanky as a Sword Flash, in my opinion, as well. Uh, and again, that was with a completely unoptimized Scarlet Queen as far as stone went, so that is another thing to consider. The other thing we need to talk about is her team effort. So, her buffs are going to make it so that everybody on your team does 20% more all damage to the target, so that is a great, great, great buff. Um, she does have heals that synergize with her team, which doesn't really matter as much. But again, she's also going to make the targets take 20% more crit damage, which means a lot when it comes to PvE. If you haven't checked the PvE video out, definitely go check out, uh, I think it was on Friday of last week. You will see how much damage her Royal Guard ability will do, where everybody will attack the, the PvE bosses whenever she gets attacked so you want to put her in slot one or wherever the enemies are hitting depending if that's front row back row random doesn't really matter but that damage definitely adds up i think when we were using scarlet queen with sword flash sword flashes 1000 percent of attack queen's guard attack was hitting for upwards of 850 million in the later rounds which is just crazy that she's almost doing 1 billion from a passive so it definitely adds up. She is much more of a team player where you do want high attack teammates because of the Queen Guard's effect. She is a decently tanky hero. Not quite as tanky as Sword Flash in my opinion, but she has tons and tons of synergies with other heroes on your team. She is what I would kind of consider a commander of an army versus Sword Flash being that one man army or one woman army. So hopefully those little breakdowns gives you a little bit a little bit more insight to which hero to go for. Again, both of them are going to be optimal with the same artifacts and pretty much the same stones as well. So there's not a big difference. Uh, but making one of them void 2 or up to void 4 depending on where you are as far as using cores is really going to help you out. Especially if you are someone struggling to get to Aspen Dungeon Death 100. I do think Queen would be the safer bet and has less counters in Aspen Dungeon to help complement your team and get you to death 100. Because of course, getting up to level 350 is a huge difference. You're going to be getting more speed, more attack, more HP, more armor. Everything about it is going to be great. I do also think Scarlet Queen is better in Void Vortex and in Tower of Oblivion. Uh, that's just more or less my guess in Tower of Oblivion though, because just about everybody has Tower done up to 350 now because of Tix. Um, again, Tix is going to be the better option in that case too. But I do think Scarlet Queen would be able to excel very well in Tower as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Uh, hopefully it kind of gave you a little bit of insight and gave you some help to decide who you want to build between Queen, Sword Flash, 
or if you want to save up for Asmodel, because we don't know what he is going to be like. But I know a lot of people out there are starting to use some cores and they're getting enough crystals to create a queen or a Shia. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We got tons of giveaways going on in the description, including a ton of CD key giveaways from last Saturday's video. So definitely check it out and I'll see you guys next time.